Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at spreadsheet functions and this tutorial will be useful for anyone that will be studying the ICT IGCC course. So what we're going to be focusing on today is lesson four, absolute cell reference. And if you check out the previous videos, we've looked at lesson one formatting, uh, lesson two, where we had to define cells or ranges of cells, and we use some formulas and functions. Last video, we looked at um, creating graphs. So let's now go to lesson four, absolute cell referencing. So why do we use absolute cell referencing? It's basically when you need to lock a particular cell or a range of cells. So when you do drag down, replicate something, that particular cell remains in the same position. What I'm going to do is first of all, show you what happens if you don't use absolute cell referencing, okay? and why we have to use it. So you'll see in the first example, I will make the mistake. Then in the second example, we will use absolute cell referencing and then hopefully that will make sense why we have done or why we have used absolute cell referencing. Okay, so let's start. So task one, use absolute cell referencing to work out a new student and staff prices. So what we have are some mobile phones and we have the prices, okay? Students will get 10% 10 discount from the price and staff that work at the shop selling the phones will get 20%. So to work out the discount, what we need to do is click on the price of each phone and then multiply it by the percentage. Okay, so the percentage is in cell D6. What I'm going to do now is just press enter. So it works out the answer for the first phone. So 10% of 350 is $35. Uh, if you want to change your currency, guys, you can do. So I prefer to work in uh, United Kingdom pounds. Now, this is where we're going to have the problem. If I go to the bottom of this cell, you can see this little square. And if I press the left mouse button down and drag this down, we have some issues. Um, if I click on value, you can see it's trying to multiply this cell here against this cell which is not going to work since this cell contains text values. Uh, the next one is multiplying this value by this value. So you can see it's moving down. It's not staying in this absolute position here. If I come to here, this is now multi being multiplied against this value here. So this is obviously a mistake. What we need to do is click on the price again, multiply, and then click on this percentage. To lock in this cell, guys, what you need to do is press on my keyboard, it's function and F4. On your keyboards, it might be command and F4 or shift and F4. So to lock, what you'll see is a dollar sign before the letter of the cell and a dollar sign before the number of the cell. Now, if I replicate this um, down, so you can either drag it down or you can double click on the little square you can see the percentage has been locked in. So the percentage is D6. It's not moving anywhere. Uh, this cell is referring to the position of this cell here. So that's relative to this position. But this cell here is absolute to this particular one cell. Okay, so the new student price is going to be the original price minus the discounted price or value. And this is the final price. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for staff discounts. So it's going to be this times this percentage here. And we're going to lock it again. This time, guys, what I'm going to do is just do it manually. So uh, a dollar sign before the F and a dollar sign before um, the six. Press enter and double click. Yep, this is being multiplied against this one here. Click on the square. And you can see this cell is absolute. But this cell, um, C11, is referring to this cell here. So obviously the staff now will get an increased discount. So the original price will be, um, or the discounted value will be subtracted from the original price. Let's drag this down. There we go. Okay. So what we can do, if you want to do, guys, let um, me just make this back to what it was. Um, this is... If I wanted to increase this or decrease this, so let's say 22.5%, automatically these values will go up. So if I click here, 
or is rounded up to 23%, automatically that would change these values. I mean, what you could also do is something like this, um, the price times uh, 0 0.2. And if it was a 20% here, you can see the same value. But then what if I want to change that uh, percentage to something else? I'd have to change each cell. So if you have uh, a value in a particular cell, which you want to refer to, and you want to lock into position, um, and this is the best method to use. Right, so that was the first example done. Hopefully that makes sense. Task two, we're going to use absolute cell referencing again. So we're going to refer to this cell uh, to work out a delivery charge. So the delivery charge is basically the price of each DVD times a percent. So if I click on here, the price times this cell here. Again, I'm not going to lock the cell initially. So you can see the first one's worked. And if I drag this down, we don't have any values for the other cells because if I click here, you can see this has been moved away from this cell here. So if I come to here, I want to lock G17, which is this cell here. I'm going to press function F4. Then if I drag this down, you can see this is now absolute cell reference. It's not moving, it's staying in the same position. And I'm going to just click on price minus or add the delivery charge in this instance. And let's click down. Job done. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. Um, we will be looking at absolute cell referencing later when we start looking at some if or even count functions, VLOOKUPs. So we will be combining this with a number of other functions later on. And in particular, we're going to be using absolute cell referencing, looking at a range of cells rather than one individual cell. Okay, guys, thanks for your time again. Please join me in the next video where we look at count functions. Please drop your comments, like and share, and please help um, share the channel and the new videos. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye-bye.